My name is Jordan Esser, and I'm the artist in residence here at the Shangri-La Museum of Islamic Art, Culture, and Design. So yeah, landscape is definitely the central theme of my work, or at least the central visual, like the visual languages. Landscape is kind of just my preferred vehicle for color work, like kind of very formal color work. So 99% of my work is imaginary landscapes. Shangri-La has a very particular viewpoint of Leahi, and I actually did it twice in the piece, so there's like kind of two versions of it at different times of day, so the colors get to be more kind of varied and playful, but what I love about it is that it's not just a depiction of Leahi, but it's a depiction of a Leahi specifically from Shangri-La, so Shangri-La is like not pictured in the work, but the work is the view from Shangri-La, so it intrinsically like includes Shangri-La in the, the work. Translating my work from textile to tile, it's really like, I felt like it was very obvious, because this is basically a tile version of an embroidery, which is the natural starting point. And you know, part of it is also just like, kind of proof of concept, like, will it look the same, I think it will, but let's see, and you won't know until you do it. I've been talking about doing tiles for years, so like a huge gift for Shangri-La to give me the opportunity to get to do this. There's many different Palestinian embroidery patterns, of course, and I have like five or six that I like working with the most. This is one of the patterns that I regularly use. You'll see it in embroidery patterns, uh, in embroidery work. It's called Sugar on a Plate, is like the kind of folk name for it in Palestine. The way that I did it was that I laid out all of the white tiles to make sure the pattern was correct. I would even do that across a few squares of grids so that I can like push them all up next to each other. And then when it's time to like lay out the edge of a mountain, I can like cross different squares of grid and keep the line going how I want it. Because this piece is six by four feet, I wanted the smallest tiles possible so that the kind of pattern of white tiles, like the negative space, could have as many iterations of the same pattern as possible to give that kind of embroidery feel. It's actually a really forgiving medium as well because with an embroidery, let's say I embroider a whole mountain, then it's embroidered. I can't be like, oh, I want to add a little highlight here, or I want to add something there. Like, it's done. You've already embroidered it. Um, whereas this, you can just take out a few tiles and put in a different color if you want to add a splash of something. There's so many variables that I can play with, with tiles, including, I mean, these are all glass tiles, but they're ceramic, so you can really tweak it and put in these little touches. That was a process I've never done before, obviously, so that was exciting. I mean, I had done little practices in my studio at home on very small things just to see how it is, but, you know, it was definitely like a leap of faith the first time here we picked up the, the sheet of tiles and it was everyone holding their breath. And we were lucky enough to have a professional tiler on hand um, to help with the, the big picture thing. Now that I've been in Hawaii for this residency, kind of in total for a little over two weeks, and have been able to travel around more and see more of Oahu, it makes me realize even more how special Shangri-La is in terms of just the grounds here in the museum. And yeah, there's, it's wild that this exists here. Any embroidery that I've ever seen, there's always imperfections anyway, like just accidental, missing a stitch here, one a couple too many stitches there, or something is, I actually love how Palestinian embroidery is almost always symmetrical, yet never truly symmetrical. Like when you look at it, you're like, wait, there's four flowers here and three there, but it looks symmetrical at first glance, you know? Um, and so there's always gonna be those mistakes, so like most of the time you probably could get away with <laughs> not intentionally putting something in to make a mistake. That being said, I also intentionally put one miscolored tile in an area, um, just as a traditional little element. Something that I just love about embroideries and thought it would be fun to include that in the tile. So I think that it's nice to have that.